In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to get past a breakup. In other words, if you've been cheated on, if your wife left you, and you're just trying to figure out how to put the pieces back together, you just don't know how to go forward with your life, well, this video is for you. My name is Ed Baxter, and I help guys in betrayal situations. I've coached thousands of men. Tens of thousands of men have come through my doors in one form or another. I've had over 3,000 guys come through the Betray the Badass program. And that's what we do. We'll get you to that place where you make the right decision for you and your children. You see, the thing that most guys don't do is they just don't acknowledge the pain. In other words, they get broken up with, or their wife leaves them, or they get cheated on. And maybe they try to get her back. And this whole time, he's just, he's just dealing with all this massive amounts of pain. He thinks that, oh, if I just get my wife back, I'm gonna feel better. But the problem is, is that he's in this amount of pain, so it just makes him grasp for her more, tries to get her to come back just so he'll feel better. He thinks he's getting her back because he loves her, but really what he's doing is this game called Rejection Breeds Obsession. And in this game of objection breeds obsession, all he's doing is trying to get her back just to make himself feel better, and she knows this. And so when working with thousands of guys, I've seen this pattern over and over and over again. It's the number one reason that women don't want to get back with their guy is because he doesn't really want her, he just doesn't like the fact that she's leaving him. And so he didn't pay much attention to her, and so he's just been very neglectful to her, and then all of a sudden she's like, okay, I'm out, I've been trying to get your attention for 20 years and you haven't been able to do it. Not enough nagging in the world is getting you to pay attention to me. Not enough anything is getting you to pay attention to me. And so now we're sitting here trying to get her back and it's not gonna work because she's saying too little too late. I've already moved on. And so for most guys, they're not willing to actually deal with the emotional pain. And what they'll do is they'll just stuff it down along with all the other feelings and emotions that they've decided to neglect in their entire life. So when he ends up having his wife leave him, the problem is, is now he's completely overloaded. And all these emotions and stuff that he's been stuffing in a box in the back corner of his mind, hoping to forget forever, now you add in this bomb on top of it, it's just too much to handle. His anxiety level goes through the roof, his stress goes through the roof, and he looks at his entire life like it's crumbling and he has nowhere else to go. Now it affects his body and his health starts to fall apart. And it affects his relationship with his children. He's present with his kids, he's there with his kids, but he's not really present because he's thinking about how to get his wife back. He's thinking about all the pain and trauma that's going on with this. Maybe his wife cheated on him and now he's having to deal with that. He's thinking about the other guy. And this starts to bleed over into his work. And now that because he's not acknowledging the pain, he's not dealing with it, starting to bleed over into his work or his business. And now he's starting to lose clients because he's showing up as a weirdo. He's not been able to sell in a confident manner. He has, he's lost his certainty. And because he lost his certainty, everything starts to fall apart. And now he starts to question even his relationship with God. Like, God, why this even happened? Why'd you let this happen to me? Why you let bad things happen to good people? And so most guys, they're not willing to go in and acknowledge his pain. And because he's not willing to go and acknowledge his pain, it stays with him for years, decades, usually for the rest of his life. And then he complains like, hey, I can't find another woman to date. And it's like, yeah, because you haven't dealt with the pain of the first one. Or the guy will go out and he'll try to get laid. He'll say, well, I just need a little bit of love, a little bit of validation before he knows that now he's not, he's not even really acknowledging his pain at all. He gets with this other woman, he's like, she's not my wife. Or he ends up now having to leverage prostitutes all the time. Or he gets addicted to porn. Just something to make himself feel better about himself as a man. But at the end, he knows that he's not dealing with his internal struggles and his own pain, so he just gets stuck. And I see this over and over and over again. Guys just get stuck forever. They don't actually change. If you're in a situation like this, you're going to stay stuck because I can tell you what, time doesn't help you heal. And people will tell you that, but it's a myth and it's a lie. It helps you forget. All the way up until December 2nd, I am offering you the audiobook of Betray the Badass for just a dollar. Because that book is powerful and you need to have it in your hands. Because if you're going through a betrayal situation, you're dealing with lies or manipulation or a wife that just walks away and you can't really understand what's happening and that everything you do is like, it's like she's sand slipping through your fingers. This will turn it around within a couple of weeks. You'll also have the opportunity to join the Genuine Attraction community and you can experience that free for seven days. This community is powerful. There's coaching from me, there's master classes, there's shorts, there's all kinds of things to help boost you forward on a daily basis so that you're not sitting here alone in your pain coming home to an empty house that is echoey because she took all the furniture and you need to have guys around you that have gone through the trenches, they know the game. Why? Because you deserve to win. See, men need to win and they need to win often. And right now, if you're watching this, there's a good chance you've been losing a lot. So let's get your first win and get you into this community. Let's get you to that audiobook for just a dollar and I can't wait to see you inside. If you don't acknowledge the pain, you don't allow it to be there and say, hey, yep, this is a part of me, it's always gonna be there. It's never gonna get resolved. And you're like, well, Ed, I don't want to focus on it. I want to focus on something that's better. Sure, you can and you should, but not at the expense of what has happened. And most guys learn to suppress their emotions completely until they've been 
repressed. And when they're repressed, it comes out in weird ways. Like all of a sudden I'm shy. All of a sudden I don't have confidence anymore. All of a sudden I don't know how to talk to a woman anymore. All of a sudden, like, Work isn't interesting to me. The compelling vision I have for my life is not interesting to me anymore. I don't even like playing with my kids anymore. My hobbies aren't even fun anymore. And this is a result of not dealing with and acknowledging your own pain. And because he's not acknowledging the pain, it starts to define him. It starts to define his life. Now his, he doesn't even go out anymore. He doesn't even go to the gym anymore. He doesn't do anything he would have normally done. He doesn't go out to the river anymore. He doesn't go fishing. He doesn't go hunting. His life gets defined by this pain and all these ghosts from his past. And so what ends up happening is of chasing the wife. Like, how can I get her back? I'll wait another 20 years just to get her back. And it becomes this mission for him to get this woman back. Well, all this time, he, what he's doing is just leaking power everywhere. He has no concept of like what he could be doing had he let this go. And so when you let your life be defined by this pain because you're not acknowledging it, you end up getting stuck. And when you're stuck, you stop growing. You stop growing in any endeavor in your life. And so how do we address this? Well, you start coming up with a compelling vision. What is it that you can do in this life that seems kind of exciting for you? It doesn't have to be like your purpose. Just something compelling to get you moving forward throughout the day. Now, you can try to play this game of, I'm just going to fake it till I make it, but it has to start becoming exciting for you. First, you start acknowledging the pain. Then two, you don't let your future be defined by what's happened in your past. You start letting this stuff go. And three, you start creating compelling vision so that you can move forward into power. Now this has to be something interesting for you. This has to be something fun for you. And most guys in a relationship where their wife cheated on them or their wife left them, they've made their wife their entire life. I've seen this happen thousands of times because I've worked with that many men. And every time he does this, what he ends up doing is he sacrifices everything that he is so that he can make her happy. And so I had a call with a guy last night. And he was going between two places, his mom and his wife. And he, he had never really been able to cut the ties with his mom like most men do when they're, you know, he became like a mama's boy. So he's always trying to make his mom happy. And his mom fell ill and she had some health problems. And so he had just gotten married and he brought his wife in with his mom. And they started clashing because mom wants her little boy all to herself. So no woman is going to be good enough for her. And then his wife's like, hey, I need you to separate from your mom so that we can have a relationship. And so what he's doing is he's trying to make his mom happy and he's trying to make his wife happy. And he's trying to mediate this whole dynamic between the two of them. And then his wife leaves him and divorces him. And his mom gets even more sick. And so when he had this call, I said, hey, what do you want? He's like, what do you mean? Well, you did everything for your mom and you did everything for your wife. But what is it that you want? And he was like, I don't understand. And see, the thought didn't even occur to him. And for most men, this thought doesn't occur to him because he's a good Christian man who was taught to do everything for his wife, to martyr himself for his family, and to not think of himself at all. And this is a rep recipe for disaster. Read the scriptures wrong. He's not supposed to do it as sacrifice for himself. He's like, well, I'm just doing what Jesus would have done. He's like, yeah, but Jesus didn't lose himself. He's very solid in who he was. And he was very solid in a certain conviction of why he was doing what he was doing. It made sense. But you have lost yourself. And so in this place of trying to make her happy and trying to make the other person happy, you have no person or agency outside of that. And so the way we reconcile that is say, what do you love? What kind of compelling vision would be good for you? How do we put you first for once in your life? Because if you don't put yourself first, you can't be the leader of your family and you'll end up falling apart. You'll just give everything to everybody else and they'll never be happy. Because why? You didn't tell them how to treat you. You didn't show them what you wanted. You didn't say, hey, this is what I shall have in my life and this is how you can please me. And so it also becomes this one-way street where he was, in this situation, taken advantage of two, by two people, but he did it to himself. I'm sure he encouraged this every step of the way. And so he had two women who didn't respect him at all. His mom doesn't respect him. She just needs him, uses him as an emotional crutch. And his wife, who didn't find him attractive anymore. And so she just left. She's like, I can't do this. I can't be with this guy. He doesn't respect me, and I don't really find him that attractive. So what's the point of being here? I can make my own money. I don't need this guy. And so for you, being in that situation, again, we'll recap. One, you've got to acknowledge the pain. Two, you've got to start letting it go. And three, start putting you first. Let's start making a compelling vision for yourself and reclaim your life. Typically, whenever you're in this relationship where you've just lost yourself and you're trying to get her back and you're not acknowledging the pain, what ends up happening is you lose all your friends. In the relationship, in the marriage, you lose all of your friends trying to make this woman happy. Especially if she cheated on you, you're going to spend all your time trying to get her back. Or if you're like some guys, you'll just say, okay, forget her. But still, in this place where your wife would leave you or cheat on you, most of the time, you don't have any friends. And so you're not really surrounded by people. You don't have this emotional support network, which you can lean on and, and leverage to get out of the house and not sit around by yourself and have people to support you and care about you and show you that you're worthwhile and you're fun to hang out with.
And so part of this game of your wife leaving you and you're trying to get over this breakup, you're trying to get over this pain and this misery, is you've got to start surrounding yourself with positive people who care about you and care about where you're going and they want you to succeed. Most guys in a situation like this are not surrounded with these people at all. They're dealing with a bunch of people who manipulate them, want more from them, try to get them to do things they shouldn't really be doing and just take up all their time and attention because they're used to being a people pleaser. And so these people are kind of like crabs in a bucket. They're going to pull you down. They're going to pull you back to where they're at. Or they're kind of like these energy vampires who just want to pull energy from you, pull your resources, pull your time, pull your money from you. And so this process of like surrounding yourself by the right people can be a little bit tough because in order to get the right people around, you're going to have to push the people who aren't good for you out. And there's going to be a period of time where you're going to feel alone. But this is a good thing. This is a good place where you can now start acknowledging your emotions and start processing and handling them because you have a quiet space for yourself. Most guys, when, they, when their wife leaves them, they sit in this place like, I came home to an empty house. I don't like the echo. Like, the furniture is gone. I'm like, dude, this is a good thing for you. He's like, how is this good? It's a constant reminder of the pain. It's like, yeah, we have to have a constant reminder of the pain because, again, we have to acknowledge that it's there and we have to process it. He's like, yeah, but I just want to just forget about it all. Well, you can't. What you're telling me is you want, to, you want to suppress it again. What you're telling me is you don't want to deal with it. You didn't come here into this program just to, deal, to hide from your own problems. You came to this program to transform into the, guy, the kind of guy who doesn't get cheated on. And the kind of guy who doesn't get cheated on is very connected with himself emotionally so that he can actually connect with the woman in front of him so he can see this way ahead of time and it doesn't happen to him again. In other words, it's not going to be a surprise to him. He's going to see it every step of the way. If you're in a situation where your wife cheated on you or she left you or maybe you cheated on her and you kind of did this back and forth cheating game and your relationship is ending and you're feeling all alone in your pain and you have nobody to really talk to and your therapist isn't really helping, your counselor really isn't helping, which typically they don't outside of just having you talk about your problems and venting. They don't really offer a lot of solutions. Come check out the link in the description below. We have a community for you, guys going through exactly what you're going through. You know, losing your wife, having your relationship end, this woman that you thought you were going to spend your life with, it feels like it's the end of the world. But it doesn't have to be. In fact, it shouldn't be. And if you want to make the greatest comeback of your life and really show her how to win, and you're an actual fucking winner, check out this video here. Frank Sinatra said it best. The best revenge is massive success. If you like this video, hit like. If you want to see more like it, hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.